do this over. Okay, so today I'm gonna make a uh, bracket for my rear view mirror, another one. I've mounted the uh, rear view mirror on the dash. I've mounted it on a slide and uh, the one on the dash works. I just don't really like it. So uh, I'm probably gonna pull that off, uh, but first I'm gonna make a third bracket to, uh, to mount this mirror. This bracket that I'm gonna make is gonna go on the top of the windshield. So let's see how that works. All right, so <clears throat> this is just a piece of angle aluminum and I've marked it kind of, I have no idea what measurements I'm gonna use yet. So kind of going with this bracket because this is what's gonna end up mounting upside down uh, on the windshield. Uh, yeah, on the windshield. So kind of going with this, uh, is this wide. Probably gonna end up trimming it like that. But for right now, this is gonna go here and I've made it a little wider than probably what I'll need, but I need to get it off this big long stick of this. So this is my first cut.
So I don't know what size um, screws, bolts and nuts I'm gonna end up putting on this. So um, or what I'm gonna need, cause I have to do square nuts that will slide in the track of the windshield. So right now I have to see what's available and uh, cause I don't, I don't have any square ones. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and punch a uh, uh, 964 hole in here and I can always widen it up if I decide to go with, or if I can go with a quarter 20 uh, or whatever size um, you know bolts and nuts so for now I'm just gonna punch some holes in it I can always widen them out Okay, so I got lucky. It does look like I have some square nuts to run in the track of the windshield. Uh, they're a little too big, so I'm gonna take the grinder and uh, grind off both sides, make them uh, slide freely in there. And then I uh, also found some screws for the mirror mount. Anyway, found some uh, screws for the mirror mount, and uh, gonna go ahead and, and some nylock nuts for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind these down a little bit and uh, make this happen. Okay, so now I got the nuts ground down to fit in the track. So now they fit into the track. Only problem is they're too thick to slide in the track in the windshield. So got to do some more grinding. <laughs> Had to uh, trim these down. These nuts had to knock off some off each side to get it to fall into the track. Once it fell into the track, though, it was too thick. So I had to grind it down on the sander to get it uh, small enough to slide in the track. So got one done. Now I gotta do the other. So I'm gonna chamfer this, these holes to make these, uh, these screws come in flush. So I don't have any chamfer bits or anything like that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill it, drill the chamfer in. So it'll be just like this. Just drill a, a little bit of a chamfer there. Make the uh, bolts sit flush. Okay, so just slide these nuts in there like this. I got one in there now. 
flying around. And this one here I just took out. This one goes in. Just like this. Once it's in, you slide it where you want. And this is what I want to screw into it. Obviously this screws are way too long. Getting it lined up, kind of a mock up. so they fit in there right and then these I'll have to change rid of this piece here for them too because these will go right here so this is how it looks and I'm gonna powder coat all this black because uh, I'm gonna do this frame and everything black um, I think it'll look good on an orange car uh, so this is how it's gonna go so I gotta shorten up these screws <coughs> shorten up these screws and, and I'll trim around this bracket and make it fit the windshield a lot better. Round off these corners and stuff, just trim it, clean it up and make it look good. Alright, so I got this sitting on here like this to mark, which I've already marked it, mark where I need to trim it up. So I'm going to take the uh, grinder and just kind of grind out this there. Everything that's blue, grind it out. Okay, so here it is so far. Went over it with some 150. Uh, this is the part that will be sitting up on top of the windshield. And then this will mount down here below like this. So this part will show. So it's got a couple nicks there and then one little one there. Uh, I am planning on powder coating this along with everything up top, uh, the windshield that is. So I don't think that's gonna show too much. And if it does, it'll be black. It won't show as much as it would if uh, you know, I left it like it is or polished it. But anyway, that's where I'm at now. I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm gonna use these screws. Um, for one, these nylock nuts are not the right threads. And on top of that, I would rather have stainless steel because when this goes black, the all the screw and button heads and uh, rivet heads and all that are uh, silver uh, on top of a black background. It's kind of the way I want it. It's kind of a theme I've been going with. So uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna finish this thing up tonight. All right. so. I uh, went to Lowe's and got some uh, stainless steel screws to replace the screws that I had in there. Uh, since all the, the nuts, the nylock nuts weren't the right threads. So uh, 1024 by half inch is what I got here. I may need to grind these down a little bit. I'll find out. Um, and the other thing is some stainless steel uh, washers. And I got some acorn nuts for going down here where, uh, where it'll be soon. And I thought I had grabbed flat Phillips machine screws, but it appears that I got oval machine screws. So that just means that these are gonna stick up like this. I'll uh, chamfer this out a little bit more, but it's gonna have ovals, ovals in there for now. Uh, it's not what I wanted. I want it to be flat, but let's see what I can do. I can always run back to the store. I hate doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna start assembling this up. Uh, drop this square nut back in the, uh, the track and a track on the windshield and uh, get this thing mocked up. Okay, I cut these, these screws down. I went back to the store and I got the flat Phillips. Uh, but they didn't have half inch, they just had one inch. So I ended up taking these one inch and uh, cutting them off with my uh, cut tool here on my Dremel. So I cut them off, screw them in, so this is how this will go. Um, they're not as flush as I would want, but if I had a, some kind of chamfering tool to get in there and I'd chamfer that out a little bit better, it wouldn't look so jagged, but in time. So for right now, um, I went ahead and uh, put the acorn nuts on, the stainless steel acorn nuts, stainless steel washer, Stainless steel screws. All right, so that part's done. So now I need to make the screws for the top of the windshield to mount this on the top of the windshield. So I just measured it. And it looks like I took a Sharpie here and just marked the threads. 
so where there's blue threads here, I can't see them, but where there's blue threads here, I want to keep that. So everything else, I'm going to cut that off. So I'm probably going to cut it right in that area there. That gives me just enough thickness for that nut in the car and one other thread. If need be, I can stick that on the sander and sand off that one thread there. But that's where I'm at. So cut this and uh, see what I got here. Get this thing mounted. Clean the threads up. Oops, let me All right, so I would say that's the finished product, but it's not the finished product. I, uh, I still need to. Uh, powder coat this or polish it up a little bit more uh, probably for now I'll leave it like it is because uh, I can't risk taking this windshield back apart and uh, trying to powder coat it or having it powder coated the bigger stuff well I can powder coat the smaller stuff but it's not going to be um, the same shade of black as if I take it to a powder coater which I want it to be uh, more like this powder coated this way but my powder coat comes out a little bit dull. That's my powder coat work there. So it is just a little bit dull. So I'm gonna have this frame powder coated, this arm powder coated, this bracket here powder coated, this I'll leave chrome. Um, this I'm gonna powder coat black along with this frame of course. And then the stainless steel screws, I'm leaving them the way they are. The acorn nuts there, leave them the way they are. This will be black. Probably just this frame will be black. I'll probably leave this uh, Maybe this frame here, black, because this comes off, and leave this chrome. Because I want black and chrome throughout, because I have little accents of chrome around the gauges and everything. I just think that it'll look good. I have black and chrome there. You know, just pieces of chrome here and there. Um, I think it looks good like that. The pipes I'm going to leave chrome, or stainless steel, silver. The wheels, at this time, of course, everything's going to stay the way it is on the wheels. I may change the spinners. Wow, that's loose. I may change the spinners um, to black but I'm gonna leave the rim and everything the way it is. Um, so that's it for now. I still need to trim this edge here to where it meets or kind of flows right over uh, the windshield, but that's it. Now, total cost, uh, nothing, uh, because I had the scrap and just took the time to make it. I actually had the screws and everything, but I wanted stainless steel screws. So uh, it was $9 worth of stainless steel screws to do it and uh, just some scrap.